In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a Python module on Raspberry Pi OS using PIP3 in the terminal. Ok, so the first thing to do is to open a terminal. So you can find the terminal icon here on the menu or click here, go to Accessories and Terminal on Raspberry Pi operating system. Okay, so you click on that, you open a terminal, and now we're gonna check if PIP3 is actually installed. Okay, if you do PIP3, enter, you will have the help of uh, PIP3. Okay, but if you don't have this, if you have PIP3 command not found, then what you do is sudo apt update, okay, to update the sources. So you just wait a few seconds. And then you do sudo apt install python3 dash pip. You can use the auto completion here with tab. Okay, and you can see here for me it was already installed, but maybe not for you. So once you have this, once you have done this command, pip3 is installed. Okay, you can do pip3 dash dash version to see what version of PIP do you have with also what version of Python. Okay, so make sure you have Python 3 also because Python 2 is not supported anymore. All right, now that you have PIP 3, so let's clear the screen. So now let's say you want to install a Python module. So for example, the module name uh, YAGMAIL. Okay, that's just an example, but that's going to work for any other Python module. Okay, so you want to install this to use in Python. So you can do PIP 3 install and the name of the module yagmail let's see what it does so it's gonna first check uh, in the uh, sources okay collecting yagmail so collecting the different things to download and then installing yagmail and you can see successfully installed with uh, the version here so that's as easy as this. You just do pip3 install module and then the module is installed and you can use it in your python program now, if you want uh, to get more info about this, you can do PIP3, for example, show, and then the name of the module. And it's going to give you some information about that specific module. Okay, you can see we have the version here, a summary, the homepage, author, etc. You have the information about the module that you have installed and also where it is actually installed. You can also do PIP3 list, which is going to uh, list all the Python, all the PIP3 module you have. Okay, you can see here so all the Python module you have with PIP3. So that's quite a lot. And if you want to uh, find one specific module, um, find modules by name, you can do also PIP3 list and then pipe, grep. Let's say you want to find something with YAG or maybe we just mail. You can see here we have the YAG mail module. And we have also other modules that matches the mail uh, string here. So once you have this, you can do PIP3 show YAGMAIL. Okay, so you are sure that you have the module on the list. And last step is if you want to uninstall the module, okay, if you want to remove it, you do PIP3 uninstall and then YAGMAIL. Okay, press enter. And you can see here uninstalling would remove that. So you may have to confirm. So I just press uh, Y, enter, successfully uninstalled YAGMAIL. And that's pretty much it. And no, YAGMAIL is not on the list anymore. And last, if you want to get all the command, you do PIP3, dash dash help, or just PIP3, and you're going to get the help, which is going to be printed here. Okay, so you can see all the commands uh, you can actually use with PIP3. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Raspberry Pi step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Alright, thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.